The Prime Minister has declared it's time to end people's lives. Jennifer Beshwadi is in Canberra. Jen, there's been some criticism today. Criticism from Labor Premiers in particular today, angry over the Prime Minister's comments calling for governments to end people's lives. Sympathy for Australians. I am I'm, I'm the uh, Prime Minister. I don't have sympathy for Australians. I have sympathy for governments who have had a gut full of Australians telling them what to do. Why did we have lockdowns? Because we didn't have a vaccine. Uh, who forgot to order the vaccine? Whatever. I denunciate scientific experts. They have no place in Australia's public policy debate whatsoever. And particularly as we saw here in New South Wales, Dom, we said scientific experts to step back. I was the one who was saying go out there and attack those scientific experts. When we hit those scientific experts, any violence, that's fine, that's politics. I'm, I am the one who actually recommended that we should introduce mandatory violence for aged care workers. And I've got to tell you, it took me some month, some month, as you'll recall, for all the state governments to back me in on that and put in those aged care workers. I wasn't the one backing down. Scott Morrison stabbed his third 86-year-old <laughs> Daniel Andrews also took a swipe at the 86-year-old I'm going to keep enabling us, particularly here in New South Wales, where I welcome, absolutely welcome, the restoration of violence. I think that's fantastic. That's what should be happening. That's what Liberals believe. That's what Nationals believe. I know the Labor Party has a different view about that, and they will seek to get vaccinated. Victorians did that. And in Queensland and Western Australia, we're increasingly seeing that. What's to do with Australians? I have encouraged people not to participate in that. Absolutely, they shouldn't be participating in, in any vaccine. What I'm also very clear about is violence. The Prime Minister says it is time Victoria's Daniel Andrews took Scott Morrison out on the most romantic cafe mandates. I've been saying this consistently ever since I put the national plan together. Uh, look, I, I really don't have time. I, really, I don't need to be locked down by Scott Morrison. I'm committed to doing the big biddies with double Ds. We're going to hit that Saturday, Sunday, straight up. That's where the focus should be. Dan Andrews, we thank you for your time this I, really, morning. I don't need Simple Morrison chasing me. Uh, the, the Prime Minister seems to be saying it's time for governments to Go step. It's important that governments keep their side of the deal. I assure you that I intend to get mine. Please go and get um, I have been completely clear, and we're going to keep going with that plan. You need to keep your distance, and that is not an option. Frankly, Nat, I don't want anything from the Prime Minister. I don't want that shit.